Ah, there you are, my friend. I'm so glad you could make it back for our final chapter. It has been one week since the tragic turn of events that transformed Max from irrepressible scam to rampaging behemoth. Even now, he cuts a swath of destruction through the Upper West Side, releasing hideous spores that feed off the psychic energy of dream. You might think that this is yet another predictable story of a giant monster attacking Manhattan, but you'd be dead wrong, my friends. This is a mystery story, a tale of treachery and deceit. Watch carefully, my friends, because before our story is complete, one of the characters you see before you will betray Sam and Max. Who is it? That remains to be revealed. I'll join you again at the halfway point to give you one final guess. But for now, you have more pressing concerns. The great Max Beast, his hour come round at last, slouches towards Brooklyn to be born. Reports coming in from downtown. Oh no! The entire neighborhood of Tribeca has fallen asleep! Those fools! Why did they insist on running that independent film festival? The creature is destroying the city, and the longer we wait, the more powerful he becomes. As acting president, I'm forced to launch the final imperative. No, wait. There's still some of Max in there. I know it. There's got to be another way. We've tried everything, sir. Not quite everything. If you could somehow get a team of highly trained experts inside Max, they might be able to reach his brain and reverse the transformation. But the Mametrons have already attempted to get through every point of entry. Some of the attempts were too horrible to even think about. Yeah, but they've all been avoiding the mother of all orifices, Max's mouth. Enter through the mouth? That's suicide. Hmm. I guess it's possible. If you could find a way to get him to swallow you whole, there'd be an opening about three meters wide. Three meters? That would be impossible, even for a computer. Max used to eat Stinky's Mega Chomp brats in one gulp, and those aren't much smaller than three meters. Hmm, very well, sir. But I can only give you until 6 a.m. At that point, for the good of America, I'll have to launch the attack. I'm on the case. Now, where am I going to find a team of highly trained experts? you join the rescue team, Mama Bosco? Sorry, Sam. If this is going to work, you're going to need me operating the radio and monitoring equipment from here. Paperweight and I will be happy to assist, of course. We will? Man up, Paperweight. Sam is going to need someone familiar with Creatures of the Dark Dimension. That's a good start, but you're going to need five more people. A scuba diver, a veterinarian, a psychologist, a dark wizard, and a brain surgeon. Did somebody call me? Sybil, you've come to help us save Max? What? Heck no. Seriously, did somebody call me? Harry Molman grabbed my cell phone from me and smashed it. But... but... Oh, all right. I'm in. I'll wait by the car. Looks like you've got your team, Sam. Now go out there and get Max to eat you! That sounded better in my head than out loud. Today is a good day to die. If you're a giant monster attacking the city, am I right, fellas? 
Now you all know I'm not one for speeches, but I have prepared a few words. <clears throat> Let's kick that devil bunny's ass! Move out! Hunt! Two! Three! Four! Want to join us inside Max's body for- Don't I, Sam. I've got to beat Cheeks while the beating's good. Um, okay... Don't fret, Grandpa. I'll put the pinch on those grifters trying to take you for a ride faster than you can shave a hobo's coin slot. Does he really have to do that with the lingo getting all this stuttering? And it's always about hobos for some reason. <laughs> ah! Can you not do something about your wee friend here? I think if you just apologize for calling him short, we could put all this behind us. It's nae worth it. Were you making your diabolically delicious demon dogs? Aye. I really thought they'd bring the city together, too. That actually sounds kind of generous, Grandpa Stinky. I know, especially since everyone in New York would be hooked, and then they'd have to come to my diner to get any more. I'd make a fortune. And now I suppose you expect me to be giving you my super secret recipe. Well, yeah, that'd help. All right, there you go. Uh, that's it? Of course that's it. It's just a recipe. Why do you always have to make things so complicated? The last box of corn dogs in the entire city. Corn dogs? Gimme, give gimme! Give what? Dog me, Sam. Keep them coming. Go on, beat it. Those imposters like corn dogs as much as the real Max does. I hope that means the real Max is still somewhere inside that lumbering sack of doom. Come on, Max. Here, boy. Dogs. They're good and good for you. Manhattan, a city under siege. Hey, watch it! You're blocking the lives! Oops, sorry, Jurgen. What's new, Beelzebub? No time to chat, Sam. I'm doing public relations work that is absolutely crucial to my enterprise. I didn't even know Hell had a public relations department. We sincerely appreciate your feedback. Now go away! So, that bald spot of yours keeps showing up on camera. Can you guys fix that in post? What? Is it showing? My stylist explicitly guaranteed it wouldn't be visible. Soundcheck! Check, check. Succubus, succubus. Is this thing on? <laughs> Yipe! Are you okay, Satan? That was quite a fall. I've had worse, but I can tell when I'm not wanted. Come on, Jürgen. Whoa. Like wickedness, that nightmare is finally over. Let's go back to hell. Oh, right. Ah, greetings, Sam. 
As the official representative of the Theater District, I offer our full support in this time of crisis. You wouldn't know where I could get an egg, Mr. Featherly. Oh, I see how this works. Everyone assumes that just because I happen to be poultry, of course I know where to score them some eggs. It's for a good cause. <sighs> Very well. Bear in mind that this is strictly a one-time deal. Noted. Mmm, mmm, mmm. Me, 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 me. Unique New York, unique New York, unique New York. <clears throat> <clears throat> <clears throat> What's the problem? I can't do this with everyone watching me. I don't think they're watching you, Mr. Featherly. There's a giant monster attacking the city. It's good of you to say so, Sam, but my magnetism and stage presence are undeniable. I simply cannot do this until everyone turns around and gives me some privacy. I simply can't help you until you get everyone to turn around and stop watching me. Why are you still working on that destabilizer, Mama Bosco? You got your body back. I'm still trying to find a way to get Dr. Norrington back to his own dimension. Yog Sagoth is my lord and master always, but I think we could use some time apart. So far, I've only been able to manage quick jumps of around 15 seconds or so. Sounds neat. I want to watch. Hello, and welcome to the Creature Obliteration and Punishment Society. Obliteration and Punishment? You've got it all wrong. We're trying to help Max. We will help him. To a generous serving of ass whooping. I hope you guys are being careful. I hear there's a particularly nasty virus going around. I swear I have been careful. It was only that one time. Can never be too careful, guys. You better run a scan or something. We're sorry. This will require us to go through a full reboot. We would be unavailable for approximately 30 to 60 seconds. We'll find some way to manage without you. Shut down commencing. Will I dream? Just hurry it up. Ooh, is that a rooster laying an egg? What? Where? <laughs> Finally. It's going to take forever to get my figure back. Thanks, Super Bowl. I desperately wanted to see that, sir. Ask him if he'll lay another one. Maybe some other time. One recipe to rule them all and one egg for binding. Nerd! Now how am I gonna find a way to heat this up? The potion is completed, my brothers! We must feed the host! Blessed corn dogs! Last one in's a stinking parasite! It's beautiful! Okay, everybody, put your shoes on. It's time to leave. Disgusting! Paperweight, don't let any of it get in my mouth. Uh-oh. Hey, Mametrons, I found a suspicious-looking corn dog just lying here. It's like lying in a puddle of carnival vomit. T-17 to base. Commencing bomb disposal. Gotta get that boom, boom, boom. All right, let's do this.
Well, here we are in Max's stomach. Ruminate! Ruminate! Trespassers will be digested! Ah, oh, cram it, flame brain. G.I. to brain, G.I. to brain, trespassers in the stomach, they look quite delicious. Fascinating. The psychic feedback from the dark dimension has planted an image in our minds, causing us to perceive the creature's organs as if they were an actual kitchen. Oh, well, this is pretty much what Max's insides have always looked like. We've got to get up to the brain so we can get out of here, Sam. If we're gonna save Max, we can't waste any time. Plus, I really have to go to the bathroom. Ladies and horrible monsters first. Not you, not Max. But I'm a horrible monster! Last stop, the cerebral cortex. I suppose that Max's brain always looks like a living room, yes? Well, Max has host all kinds of weird parasites, and he likes to be a good host. Aha! Well, there's your problem. Greed galloping Golgi and lipstick on a Vespa with a leather-bound day planner. It's mind worms, right? I bet Featherly 50 bucks it was mind worms. It's a tumor. Damn it! Seems to be teeming with dark energy as well. Still, once we've removed it, your friend should pop right round to normal again. Yeah, assuming that's what you really want. Why is it glowing? Sam, come here and take a closer look. I bet if I touch it here, he'll start speaking with an Australian accent. Yo, it shocked me. The brain synapses are firing at an alarming rate. The voltage is quite high. Ah, whoa. Ah, get away, fake Max. Do you find my warmth alarming, Sam? The freaky creature is correct, Sam. We won't be able to operate until you can cut off the power to the brain. The medulla oblongata acts as kind of a circuit breaker for the brain. If you can cut it off, we can get to work. Okay then, experts. Where do I find the medulla oblongata? Perhaps behind this door? Where did they...? Did everybody get all staticky and find themselves in the stomach again? I detected a spiky psychic energy coming from the monster. Is everyone okay? We appear to be in some sort of game room. You are now at the mercy of the brain, Butterball! Max must be using his psychic powers to keep us from entering the brain. Yes, they're very fussy at this age. He's just looking for attention. Better to ignore him. Okay, that's dumb. But I've got a better idea. If we could put enough electrical current through Max's body, it'd temporarily short out his powers and let us inside the brain. But that would take a voltage of at least 46 helijoules. The only place in the city with that much power is the electric plant down in Battery Park. Then we've got to find some way to get control of Max's body and take him downtown. It looks like some kind of exercise room. Oh, hey Sam. I think I found the uh, manual override for the light controls here. I had to rewire some of the nerve endings, but now all I have to do is walk on this treadmill and we can make Max walk wherever we want. Great work, Sybil. That's about the stupidest thing I've ever heard. Hmm? What was that? I didn't say that out loud. Consecrated Kreskin on a communion wafer. She's reading my mind. I'm not reading your mind, Sam. The brain must be broadcasting your thoughts or something. Just ignore it so we can get to work. Come tell me when you're ready to start moving. Hiya, Sybil. Oh my god, she's huge. What was that? Oh, I didn't say anything. What is she carrying? A baby or a yak calf? Excuse me? Are you calling me fat? Fat doesn't cover it. Come to think of it, a circus tent wouldn't cover it. I'll have you know that I am carrying the miracle of life, the promise of a new generation, and the affirmation of hope. What's your excuse? Why don't you hop on that treadmill? Oh, so you're not even trying to be subtle with the fat comments anymore. Come on, Sybil. It's going to take all of us working together to save Max. And by the looks of it, you could be doing the work of five or six of us at least. Ah! You just don't understand what I'm going through, bringing new life into the world. Well, getting her to help is turning out to be at least as painful as giving birth. Maybe I can find something to make her less hysterical. Ugh! 
Can you believe this guy? I find the entire situation to be very contrived and misogynistic. I'm finally seeing it in person. This must be where Max keeps his junk. Nah, that's a couple of stories down. There's got to be something in here to take my mind off Sybil's condition. Is that our old roach farm? No way! I'd forgotten all about that. And it looks like... It is! One of the eggs is about to hatch! It, it's beautiful! Huh? Papa? <laughs> now I am, little champion. Now I am! Hey, it's a big nest of spare audio video cables. These are just what I need for... Well, that's about the worst thing that could have happened. Hang on! Help me! Whoops! Oh well, any cockroach foster son of mine is plenty resilient enough to survive a good vacuuming. What is that, a roach? Ugh, gross. Well, I never! Don't give it to me, Sam! Take it outside and kill it! Don't listen to her, Sam Jr. The mean lady is on heavy medication and doesn't know what she's talking about. Wait a second. You really do care about that roach, don't you? He's the promise of a future generation. Not that you'd ever understand. I think I underestimated you, Sam. You really do have the heart of a parent. And a real parent, not keeper of some half-statue freak show. I'll pretend I didn't hear that. Let's get moving and save Max! Hallelujah, Sam Jr. Now that we've motivated our fellow Lifebringer, we can control Max's legs and haul his terrifying bulk across the length and or breadth of the city. Another party member! Oh, this is gonna be the best campaign ever! Ah, there you are, Sam. Paperweight here believes he's found a way to control the creature's arms. Yes! We are standing on a network of neurotransmitters, and by forming biogenic connections between them, we can relay electrical impulses from dendrites in the brain to muscle tissue. The short the... version, Poindexter. I can step on these shapes to control the arms. Great! Let's get to it so we can pick up huge stuff. You'll have to activate the manual override first. The impulses come through that machine over there. Right hand brass knuckles. Roger that! What have you done, Sam? The arms! They are spasming out of control! I've been hit. This wasn't supposed to happen. Error. I'm so caught up in you. Error. Oh no! The radioactive brain core is exposed! Your head will collapse, and there's nothing in it. And you'll ask yourself, who let the dogs out? Yes! A dentist chasing you with a hatchet, being loaded into the car for a trip to the vet! Oh, delicious! Sam, you must wake up! What? What happened? I must protest! I was savoring a most delectable nightmare! The radiation is too dangerous for you, Sam! You pass it out! Evidently, Paperweight and I are immune. Looks like you're stuck with me for another hundred years, eh, Paperweight? <laughs> yes, my master. We'll go back and resume our studies, but you must find someone else to operate those arm controls. Oh no, Sam Jr. Are you okay, little guy? Uh. I'm a roach! We can survive anything! So much attitude. Must be hitting his teen years. Who do I know who's immune to radiation? Motor skills to full power. Neurons and stuff aligned for transbasal plasmic shift or something. Release exhaust. Activate feet and legs. Manual override active. Go! Activate hands and arms. Uh, Sam, you have not unlocked the arms yet. All right. We can still walk around and stuff, though, right? We suppose, if you don't mind shambling through the city, pointlessly smashing everything in sight. Can't think of a good reason not to. Hey, 
Is there someone on the roof? This isn't much fun without being able to control Max's arms. Uh, I don't know about this, Stinky. Feels like we got in way over our head. Don't tell me you're getting cold tarsal pads now, baby. Not when we're so close to having everything we ever wanted. Yeah, that's another thing. It was kind of exciting for the first couple of decades, but I don't think... What's that? It sounds like something's... coming. Yeah, so anyways, like I was saying... My queen, I've got you now. <laughs> Hiya, Sam. So this is what hell looks like. Well, kinda, now that you mention it. But we're not in hell. Really? Because I'd done some real bad things. I figured that monster had finally punched my ticket. No, we're just in Max's stomach. If you want to make up for all the bad things you've done, you can help us save the city. I'll do anything. Well, almost anything. Maybe I better hear what it is first. Okay, use that video game machine up in the arm controls and read the commands off to Monsieur Paperweight. The brain's going to try to ventriloquize you to say the wrong thing, so... So I just say the complete opposite, right? Any dope could figure that out. Well, not any dope. I think you'd have to be pretty clever to figure that out. Brilliant, Sam! This roach is pure dynamite! He solved the manual override even faster than you did! Yeah, well I did it first. There you go, Sam. I took care of those arms like you wanted. <coughs> I'll just get over to Battery Park and you can... So, are you okay, buddy? Looks like this is the end of my ride after all, hey Sam? But I thought roaches were immune to radiation. Nah, that's just a <laughs> urban legend. But I figured that if a bunch of people need something, then that kind of weighs more than just one newly single deadbeat cockroach, you know? That's beautiful, Sal. I'll uh, edit it down a little before it goes into your biography. Now get over to that power plant and save the... Uh, 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 uh. All right, team. We've only got a few hours left to save Max. Let's do this. We have the full control of the arms! Go! Then we're off to Battery Park. Activate feet and legs. Still active! Go! Activate hands and arms. Max Rescue Team, go! All right, team. We're going in. Threading sequence engaged. Let's do this with some style, people. Beginning electrocution sequence! It's for your own good, not so little buddy. Did it work? Only one way to find out. That jolt should have been enough to short out Max's psychic powers. I'm going in. Uh-uh. Not so fast, my friend. Have you solved the mystery? I'll give you one more moment to check your work. Well, the clues to our villain's identity have been laid before you since the moment our story began. Have you figured it out yet? Is it Monsieur Paperweight and his hideous counterpart, Dr. Norrington, refugees from a dimension of pure evil? Or... General Skunkape, driven mad by his insatiable lust for the toys of power. Civil Pandemic, with her... Do you mind? I'm trying to... Oh, now you've just ruined it. Uh, sorry, but what are you doing inside Max's brain? Inside Max's brain? <laughs> My dear Sam, I am Max's brain. Max's brain is a monochromatic fade British gentleman? Not the entire brain, perhaps. Just the part that matters. I believe that Freud called it the superego. 
but I'd hate to sound boastful. Okay, here's how it's going to go down. I'm going to turn off the power, Sybil and Norrington are going to cut out that tumor, and then you're going to help us get Max back to normal. Sam, I couldn't, even if I wanted to. Max's power has reached critical levels, and it's only a matter of time until his brain catches fire and explodes, taking most of the eastern United States with it. Then we'll use his psychic powers. But how? The toys were all destroyed. All that is left is Max's memories of them. Most of which were destroyed by a sudden jolt of electricity. Oh dear, did you do that? How ironic. You said most of the powers were destroyed? Well, there's the astral projector for all the good that will do you. Looks like a scrapbook. Precious memories. Aw, oh, that's awful cute. Giant Max is even more empty-headed than the regular version. Astral projection requires there to be a suitable host body on the other end. You can only project into a version of yourself. Like my great-grandfather? Exactly. Or one of the me clones. But all of the clones were quarantined to the reservations on Staten Island. Oh, there are still a few strays here and there. Great job, Sam. Just a few quick slices, and then we can get both of these mothers out of Max's brain. Wait! Now what's the problem? It appears that Max's tumor has become infected with dark matter. But you can make it better, right? I need Max to wobble by my side as we crash land into the mysteries of the universe and chortle merrily at reality's deepest secrets. No earthly tools can remove dark matter. Believe me, I've tried. Hmm, destroy dark matter. I know, that toy robot I found. But I thought you guys said that all those psychic toys were destroyed. Destroyed? Nonsense. I can still sense the blasted thing. Somewhere in the city. Someone must have retrieved the toy from the Statue of Liberty and reassembled it. And I think I know exactly who. Our old favorite psychic toy collector, Harry Moleman. You mean General Skunkape, right? Oh yeah, Skunkape. He probably has the robot, doesn't he? I should go find him. Uh, to get the robot. Skunk Ape. Yeah. Yes! Yes! I'm so glad to see you're getting along with my unstoppable army of minions, Flint Paper. Play all you want. We'll make more. <laughs> Keep laughing, Simeon. Having a sunny personality will make the time go by faster in Sing Sing. <laughs> hey, what? It's a prison. Ah, uh, no Earth prison can hold me. With my unstoppable army, my newly reformed queen at my side, and the power trapped in this ancient toy robot, our plan cannot fail. <laughs> you just forgot one thing, the self-destruct sequence. <laughs> this cloning chamber doesn't have a self-destruct sequence. Maybe not, but he does. Unstable antimatter device detected. Initiating containment protocols. Yeah, you can override the bomb. Yes, my queen? I'm doing it, darling. Looks like some kind of fog machine. Good eye, Sam. Near as I can make out, Sal turned that on to cover up Stinky's little disappearing act. It's a big box, packed with evidence, no doubt. That's from all of Stinky and Sal's failed attempts to knock off Grandpa, before they hit on the magic recipe idea. The roach would dump the evidence off at the docks, then the mermaid would swim it down the Hudson Wait, wait, wait. Stinky's a mermaid? Seriously, Sam? Try to keep up. It's a big hunk of rock. Left over from all the secret tunnels those lovebirds were having the mole people dig to pull off their scheme. She'd do anything to get rid of all that granite. I heard she was even selling it in sandwiches. It's an old video projector. It was set up inside the diner, Sam. Turn it on at the right time. Cover it up with enough fog, and you can make it look like anything. It just appeared out of thin air. 
Jinkies, it's a closed circuit TV camera hooked up to that projector. Right again, Sam. All she had to do was get Sal to hold up a photo at just the right time, and it was easy to make Grandpa Stinky think his magic spell had worked. Hey, I recognize that. That's the cake of the dam. The evil recipe that Grandpa Stinky magically turned into Girl Stinky. Or so that poor sap Grandpa Stinky was supposed to think. Hmm, I'll just call this Exhibit A. Aha! Uh -huh. Instant demonic spell. Pretty sneaky, Stinky. And since Grandpa Stinky thought he'd made her, he changed his will so that she'd get the diner if anything happened to him. Sim, Sim, Salabim. What? The Devil's Toy Box? How can this be? The Devil's Toy Box? They said the toy box had been destroyed. Yeah, well, they say a lot of things. A talking clone? Oh, now I see. You have come to make things difficult for me again. Yes, Sam? Hand over that toy robot, and I'll think about turning the toy box over to you. <laughs> You're hardly in a position to make demands, Sam. Why should I turn over this toy instead of simply taking what I want? Because if you don't, I'll blow up the toy box once and for all. Yeah, you wouldn't dare. The explosion would destroy you along with half the city. I'd destroy half of any city to save my best pal. Besides, I'm using a loner body. You're serious? I'm just crazy enough to do it. No, here. Yeah. Take the robot. Just keep that bomb away from the toy box. There. Antimatter bomb disabled. Containment protocols canceled. What is he doing? Now I'd better get this robot into Max's brain before Skunk Ape realizes he's been flamboozled. You got everything under control here, Flynn? Ah, this is as easy as picking lice from a hobo's. Did you hear that? Again with the hobo's. What's his problem? Don't kill that one, Flint. That's Grandpa Stinky. No problem, Sam. Sam to rescue team. Sam to rescue team. Robot acquired. Eat me. Over. Roger that. Hey, I got that robot and... Er, Skunk Ape must have put it back together himself. Watch that trigger. Once we blast away that dark matter, we should have enough time to remove the... Uh-oh. I think my water just broke. Pennies? Sam, we've got to get out of here. Now! But Max is... There is no way I'm having this baby inside a horrible monster! That horrible monster is my best friend, and we're running out of time to save him. What do we do? Save Sybil! thing has happened. It hasn't happened yet, and it's not going to unless we move. What? Oh yes, the baby. Whatever. No, my friends, the wondrous thing is that Max has actually committed a selfless act. Ah, uh, who's this guy? He's the personification of Max's superego. Ah, makes sense. That means he's more than just pure id. He's capable of self-sacrifice. I've made a terrible mistake. Max is worth saving after all. Told you so. Go. Save Sybil. I will stay here and remove this wretched tumor. But how do we get out of here in time? Huh? No doubt there's something in here you've overlooked? It's Max's collection of ideas for novels, in audiobook on vinyl form. Glad to see he's keeping track of them. He's always coming up with these things, but I assume they just flew out of his tiny, oversaturated brain.
It's Max's heartfelt Inuit coming-of-age story. Are you there, Great Bear Spirit? It's me, Kanuchalak. Why does Max have tear ducts? I can't remember the last time I saw him cry. I know. Well, except when he was trying to lull his prey into a false sense of security. All right, everybody, let's load up and make a quick getaway. Good luck, Max's super ego. We're all counting on you. Don't worry, Sam. I'll have Max back to his normal, impetuous, wonderful self in five minutes. Just go, and hurry. Sam, you have to get out now. The Maintrons will impact in four minutes. <laughs> uh, why aren't we moving? Wait a second. This isn't the tear duct. Well, that was thoroughly unpleasant. Gesundheit! Let's get you to the hospital, Mrs. Pandemic Lincoln. Ugh, that's Lincoln Pandemic? Could you keep it down? Our head is killing us! Quick, Giant Max, get out of there! The last Mintron is headed your way! Save the city. But where did he go? I almost had everything, and then you had to start slobbering over a stupid piece of rock. For the last time, my queen, I will get you a diner on the next world we conquer. Just get me far away from... Didn't I tell you to get rid of that cell phone already? Who could possibly be calling me? Max? Realign the mitochondrial plasmoid transference sequence. Oh, who am I trying to kid? I'm making all this up as I go along. Anyway, I've adjusted the cloning tank, so we should be able to bring Max back as good as new. Great, Dr. Mama Bosco. Let's do it. I'll just need a sample of his DNA, one that's less than one week old. Try this, Mama Bosco. It should be crawling with Max's DNA. God knows what else. Perfect. This should only take a few minutes. That should do it. Welcome back, little buddy. What happened? It looks like Max's DNA is just too weird for my machines to be able to reproduce. There's nothing we can do. I'm sorry, Sam. Ah, tough break, Samo. At least he went out saving the universe. As president, I'd just like to offer my... I can't do this now. I just can't. Superball, come back!
Oh, hi, Sam! Holy beer-battered princes of Maine and kings of New England in a glass-bottom boat with a trip-hop DJ and the second runner-up in the Miss Teen Oprah Woman pageant. It's past Max in a time-traveling elevator. What's shaking? Max, I thought you were... Wait a second, where's the past me? Oh, yeah, about that. We were on a case and you got turned into a giant monster with electromagnetic powers, so I kind of had to blow you up. It was horrible! Wanna stop some crimes? Let's! Ooh, push all the buttons! I wanna scatter some dental retainers throughout the fossil record and see how long it takes anybody to notice. You crack me up, little buddy. 